Hi fellow anglers, FG not key is about how much tension do we apply to the braid line. So the question here is, which one is the right tension? If the tension is too low, the knot won't hold, and if it's too high, you won't be able to do parallel braid twists. We may learn to find the sweet spot. Starting with a simple loop knot in the braid end, coming from our rod, then we attach to a doorknob. I leave about three feet of braid to work with. We use a soft chair back to lean on the braid. The weight of the rod itself creates tension in the braid line. But we need to know if the rod's weight itself provides enough. If we need more tension, gently attach a fishing lead protected with rubber just before the rod tip until our knot has clean parallel turns. Hanging this extra weight adds more tension. We just know our optimal tension. Then set the fluorocarbon in the middle of our tensioned braid. Start by making turns around the braid, crossing the fluorocarbon tail over the braid and then going under it. After each turns pull the fluorocarbon tightly. We do the same to the right, repeating right and left until we wrap a length of two centimeters, a little less than an inch. With the right tension, you should see clean and uniform turns without irregular shapes. Now we will secure our knot with a simple overhand knot. Keep holding the knot with your thumb and index fingers. Cut the braid loop from our doorknob. Let's do an overknot using this braid tail around the fluorocarbon tail, together with the braid line from the rod. Tight the overknot and now you can release your fingers. It's really important to apply strong tension without straining our hands by pulling the braid line in one direction and the leader in the opposite one. Hold together the fluorocarbon end and the braid coming from the rod, creating tension pointing to the ceiling. Take the braid end and start doing overhand knots, one to the left and then to the right. We are doing a braided pattern that extends to a length of about five millimeters, more or less a quarter of an inch. Third and last step, ending the knot, creating a cone shape. This small cone shape will help the knot passing through the rod guides, especially the point one. Begin by wrapping the braid tail around both lines, the fluorocarbon tail together with the braid line coming from your rod. You'll want to complete seven turns and be sure to leave a small braid loop. These turns should be made from top to bottom, clockwise when looking from the ceiling to the floor. With your right hand, start turning the braid loop seven times on the same clockwise as before. Gently pull downward from the braid tail until the knot tightens completely and you'll notice a the small cone shape. Finally, you can cut the fluorocarbon tail as close to the knot as you prefer because our final knot is secure. Now, the knot, it's done. Thanks for your time and if you wish, I would be happy if you like my video and subscribe.